In this video, I wanna show you the all new detail textures and how I use them in Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. The great thing about these textures is they come in multiple different formats. They come in bitmap TIFF format, which is great for Illustrator. It's also great for Photoshop. They come in vector Adobe Illustrator format. They come in transparent PNG format, and they come in Photoshop brush format, which you can use to paint the texture right into your designs. So first I'll show you how to use the textures in Adobe Illustrator. The most basic way is the vector versions of the textures. A lot of people like to work only in vector, so that's why I've included these textures. So here are some plastisol textures, here's a grit texture, here's a light grit texture, here's some line texture, and I'm just gonna copy those, and this is an, kind of an all-in-one file where I can open that up and copy it right out of one file and go back into my other Illustrator file and paste it in there. So you'll see how these textures look a little bit different. These bottom two are more like Plastisol Cracked Ink Vintage T-Shirt Ink Texture. And what you can do is you can color these the same as your background color and position these and duplicate them and just get the texture exactly where you want. And with these grit textures, you can do the same thing. You probably don't want to mix and match too much, you know, kind of pick either a plastisol texture or pick some of the different grunge textures. But, you know, if you want to apply this and make these textures transparent, you can go to your Pathfinder menu, click Merge, and then double click to isolate that. Select out your blue, delete it, magic wand your white, magic wand your red, select inverse to get any little extra junk out of there and there you go so that transparency is knocked through the design but i'm going to undo that and i'm going to show you a different method which i prefer and i have a lot of videos on this method but i just really believe in it i'm deleting those vector textures there now I have another file that looks just like this vector file except they're bitmap textures. Now the great thing about bitmap textures is much like vector textures, you can assign them a color. So I'll just assign them like a bright green so you can see. But the difference is there are no vector points in these bitmap textures. The bitmap textures are also transparent, but the main advantage to the bitmap textures is if you use a lot of them, they don't slow your computer down. Now, these vector versions of these textures are small enough and lightweight enough where they won't slow down your computer too much. But let's say you were to use all of them and duplicate it a couple times, all of a sudden your computer gets really slow. With these bitmap textures, you don't have that problem. So let me turn these back to black and I'll take these first four out of here. I'll go Command C and I'll paste them into that Illustrator file and I'll leave them black. And I have a lot of videos showing how to apply texture in Adobe Illustrator, so I'm not gonna go too crazy with this. I'll just keep it really simple. Let me select all those and if you're using multiple bitmap textures, make sure to group them and also make sure they're on top of everything. And the last thing is make sure to select your background color if you have one and lock it so it doesn't get in the way. So now I have the textures, I have the red art, and I have the white art. So what I wanna do is let's select everything, textures are on top, and let's open up our transparency window. So go to Window, Transparency, and what you wanna do is click Make Mask. And when I do that, it knocks that bitmap texture through the design. And this should show up in separations if you're sending your art out for screen printing or direct to garment. If you're exporting your image as a transparent PNG, these, this transparency will come through. Now, before you, before you email me, if you did all that and it didn't work, make sure to toggle this clip and invert mask button. So try different combinations of those and see if that works. 
And that's how you apply the texture in Adobe Illustrator. Let's go into Adobe Photoshop and I'll show you how the textures work in Adobe Photoshop. Now, if you like working with transparent PNGs, this is that Plastisol texture. Background's already knocked out. You get all the textures in this format, but you also get them in Photoshop brush format. That's .abr format. And you'll, you'll get a .abr file. Just double click on that. And then when you go into Photoshop, you open your brushes window and all those brushes will be already loaded. So you see this word detail. I have a layer mask applied to it and that layer mask is applying non-destructive transparent texture to the, the word detail. So just to illustrate this, let me delete that layer mask and I'll show you how, how I applied the texture. So layer, layer mask, delete. What I want to do is go select load selection and layer six transparency. So it's going to select that detail word. Typically in Photoshop, what I like to do with these kinds of textures is, especially with type and shapes and logos and stuff like that, I like to do an offset selection. So go select, modify, contract, and I'll contract that about 20 pixels. So you see it inset that selection. And the next thing we want to do is let's go layer, layer mask, reveal all. And now you'll see this layer mask is in the layers panel is highlighted. So I can just select one of the brushes and paint into that layer mask. Now there's a few things here. So you can size up or down your brush with the left and right bracket keys. And if you don't see your brush, it's either too big, meaning you'll have to size it down, or you have your caps lock on. So if you have your caps lock on, you won't see essentially the brush cursor. What I can do here is I can just click. It's kind of like stamping texture right into that layer mask. And the nice thing about these detailed textures is you can kind of switch back and forth between them. I just selected another one here and you can kind of just add the texture where you want. So there's a lot more control with these than a lot of my other textures, which can a lot of times will just apply texture to your whole graphic at one time. Let's go select, deselect. And so you'll see there's kind of more of like an ink stamp kind of thing where there's no texture right around the edges and most of the texture is concentrated on the inside of the type but that's a little too perfect. So I'm gonna go back in here and I'm still painting into this layer mask and I'm just gonna get a little bit more of that edge so it doesn't look quite so computery. And that's all you do. The good news about these textures is they come in T-Shirt Design Master Collection 2, huge bundle of T-Shirt Design resources and these detail textures complement the textures that are already in that collection. So if you're using some of the luxury grunge textures that come with it, these will match right up and you can use a combination of the big textures and then go in with these detail textures, or you can just use these detail textures on their own like I did here. But to find out more about detail textures, have a look at T-Shirt Design Master Collection 2 and I've got a link for that on this page. Thanks for watching.